Hello, thank you for tuning in. My name is Stuart. I'm a classical record collector and a classical record dealer. Uh, my website, lpclassical.co.uk. There's a 10% discount if you use the discount code, which you can find in the description below. You're welcome to go and see what I'm selling. But let me just move on. I'm going to be reviewing some auctions which are going on eBay. I've gone for the highest priced auctions because obviously those are the most interesting. And we'll just go through some of them, about 10 minutes worth. And, you know, um, obviously I've spent a lot of time in my life buying records. I bought tens of thousands of records and sold tens of thousands, of course. So I know what I'm looking for. I know what's worth money. There may be some gaps in my knowledge, but very, very few. So yeah, now I've reviewed this auction already. It still hasn't sold. And my conclusion was that there were not in, in you know, there are a lot of um, Ace of Diamonds and there aren't enough high value records in this auction to, you know, be any, worth anything like four and a half thousand. That's just laughable. Uh, it really is. I mean, it's ludicrous. I mean, I, I looked through this and I wouldn't pay more than about 500 to a thousand pounds for these. If that, I really wouldn't. There are some SXLs, but it looks like there are no sort of high value SXLs. So no, I wouldn't be interested in this collection. Move on. This next one I've not seen before. Let's have a look at it. Somebody's advertising my entire eBay LP and record box sets collection. Well, LP and record. Let's let's have a look. Let, let's see if I can close up and see what he's selling. Four thousand four hundred eighty pounds. Let's have a laugh, shall we? I shouldn't, you know, I've got a bad character for this kind of thing. I probably shouldn't be reviewing people's auctions and uh, having a laugh because obviously, but it's just that when people people often think their records are worth a lot more <laughs> than they really are, and I can't help. I mean, first of all. This cat, this this person has photographed all these records, and it's blurry. The definition is poor. It's difficult to see what there actually is. But at a glance, I can't really see classical. I can't see any classical records here. They all look to me like sort of easy listening. Well, there's Bach. There's one. Uh, what else is there? Can't really see much. Okay, let's go to the next one. I mean, this is ludicrous. Um, who is that? Is that, oh, is that Operetta? Uh, Rudolf Schock, £36. Well, I don't know. I see this, this seller seems to be um, a commercial seller who's just trying to sell the whole lot and get rid of the whole lot in one go. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it really... Copeland, £14. I mean, this is ludicrous. This is absolutely crazy. I'd like to see this buyer's feedback to see what they've actually sold, if anything at all. Let's have a look. Sellers other items. Let's see what they've sold. Oh my God. Um, it looks to me like they do all sorts of stuff. Sold items. Let's see what they've managed to sell. See if there are any records. Okay, there's one here. Hilda Gooden. Something well, Gooden's a good artist. Twenty pounds. That's sold. Um, well, you'll have to excuse me. I'm, I'm not expecting. Okay, here's another one. Sonata for violin. Johann Peter Emilius Hartmann. Well, that's kind of interesting, I suppose. There are some sort of un there's some unusual music here. I can see why some of this would have sold. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. She's sold something, but not much. She's not sold much at all. And so this uh, this big collection of records, which are way overpriced, she's trying to sell. And I've got no evidence that she's been managed to sell any of these Operetta records for like 30 quid. So no, I mean, that's an absolute joke. I wouldn't touch this collection with a barge pole. It's, um, it's a complete joke. Sorry. Okay, let, let's move on. Okay, job locked, SXLs, ASDs. I think I might have seen this one before as well. Yeah, yeah, I think I reviewed this one already. 
I mean, if you look here, let me just comment on some of these. At a glance, there's not one single interesting AS, ASD here. There really isn't. I mean, menu in, you can forget menu in, you can forget uh, Beecham. You know, none of those are interesting. And if you're going to pay 4,000, let's have a look at some SXLs. Okay, well, answer may conduct Glazunov. That's not really that interesting. The Vorjak Kertes series, I could never sell that. Especially the earlier, the boring earlier symphonies. Vorjak only wrote three decent symphonies. Three. Number seven, which is the best of them. Number eight, a symphony which I've heard too many times and I'm now fed up with every time I hear it. Um, number nine is a great symphony. The rest of them, you can forget it. Now, I know a lot of you guys will disagree with me. You can forget the first six uh, Vorjak symphonies. Uh, even, the, even the great symphonies there in that series were never really good sellers. The Tchaikovsky Mazel was never a good seller and it probably isn't a good seller now. So there's nothing here of any interest at all. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Now the Mercuries, I always thought they were well overrated. And I've noticed that they've tumbled in price and there's now very really little interest in Mercuries. I've never, I never thought Mercury, I thought they were well overrated. And it looks to me like Mercuries are not really selling well now. They look nice and everything. But no. Um, so here we are. We can see here Tchaikovsky and Kakaturian, Sering. Those will be Phillips, won't they? But we don't know. There's Chung. You see, whoever's selling these, they've tried to put all the violin records together to say, look, look what I've got. But what? There's nothing really much here. Schneiderhan. Um, you can't really see what it is double concerto here we are sxls they're all 6000 they're all like narrow bands from the 70s they're not worth anything very little oh and the ultimate nightmare all these sls box sets they were one of the biggest headaches when i was dealing i used to hate seeing sls box sets they were just such poor sellers there were only a handful that would ever sell they're just a nightmare to have and then all these what I call bread and butter four digit ASDs that I used to be able to sell to Japanese buyers when they used to come and visit me. I could sell a hundred for a fiver each. Those days have gone, you know, they're now worth hardly anything at all. There are just a few that are worth any money. No, forget it. Deutsche Grammophon. Um, I can't really see much of any interest there. Piano concertos, Mozart. No, forget that. Forget that. Uh, Vorjak Symphony, no, forget that. I don't know. And here we are, Ace of Diamonds, forget Ace of Diamonds. Oh my God, all the Ace of Diamonds box sets. Absolute, these are just, these just won't sell. SXL 6000s, well, okay, big deal. He's got a dozen wide bands. No, can't really see anything of, of, of any interest here, really. No, it's an absolute nightmare of a collection. I mean, if you're going to take a collection on of this size, you want to have at least 100 records that you can sell for between 50 and 100 pounds a piece to make it worth your while. And he just hasn't got that. Salome. Why has he gone to the trouble of photographing Salome? Schubert Symphony Number no. 6. That's a 30 pound record. I think that's Munchinger. Um... Salome, forget that, Schulte, that never sold. What a load of absolute dross. No, no good at all. That's an absolute, I mean, he's put here violin, cello, orchestral, mint, SAX, ASD. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to bookmark that one to see what, what he gets for that. But £4,000, buy it now. No, forget it. Okay. Well, anyway, look, that's all for now. I'm, I'm going to leave it there, but you can see my opinion, particularly on that one. People are still trying to get way too much for their collections. Just be very careful. Bye for now.